this part of the tutorial will help you install the speedrunners tool. So first we're going to go to this website. I'll put the link in the description. That will bring you to your the speedrunner tool plugin manager. So we're going to click on the zip file down here and download. Once that's download, bring it to wherever you want it to be. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And then we're going to extract it. Once that's extracted, we're going to open it and then run the plugin manager itself. You may see an error from Windows, but you can just accept it because it's just Windows being a bit finicky. So next we're going to install the SRT host. Under the SRT host tab on the left. Once that's installed, we're going to go down here and we're going to find Resident Evil 2 Remake under supported games. Click on that and install the current plugin. Once that plugin is installed, there's two ways that we can go about doing this. The first one I'm going to show you is with the JSON, which will allow you to capture the information in a browser source and put it on your OBS where you want it. So we're going to install the UI JSON extension. The WebSocket extension uses a lot of bandwidth because it sends it to an external server. So use this if you have like a multi-streaming PC setup and you want to have the information uh, from your gaming PC sent to your streaming PC. So once that's done, we can go down here to widgets and we'll see the stats URL. So I'm going to copy the stats URL and post it here. Next, I'm going to run my Resident Evil 2. Once that's running, we're going to pull up the plugin manager and we're going to start the SRT host. So we're going to go find supported games, go down to Resident Evil 2 Remake, and we're going to start SRT. So now that's started, we can open this, and you see that we have our stats. To show you that it's working, I'm going to load one of my save files. So here I am on Leon, and now we can see that I have a full health. It's been two minutes. Um, you'll be able to read these when you have it in a browser source because they're in white code and so you can't really read it that well. But you see your DA rank, your DA rank score. Um, if I were to go back to widgets and copy the inventory and post that, you'll see that we have the inventory here as well. Now the other option, after exiting Resident Evil 2, the other option is to have the SRT show up directly in game. Now to do that, we open the SRT plugin manager, go to user interfaces, Resident Evil 2 Remake Direct X, and install that plugin. So after installing that plugin, we can restart Resident Evil 2, and we can run the SRT host again. So we go back to supported games, find the Resident Evil 2 Remake, and start the SRT. And now you see in the top left, we have our IGT, our health bar, our DA score, our rank, and our enemy HP. But one of the things that it defaults to, though, is no inventory shown. So for example, if I loaded a save, you can see that we don't have the inventory shown on screen. So to fix that, uh, usually you can stop the SRT, but I, when you exit out, it stops the SRT as well. So I'm going to quit out of Resident Evil 2. And then we're going to go back to where we installed our plugin manager, go to plugins, Resident Evil 2 Direct X overlay, and you'll see this, it'll be a CFG file, which is a configuration file. So we can open that and where it says no inventory, we're going to go false. We're going to save that. Now we can start Resident Evil 2 up again. Start the SRT again. And then we're going to load a game, and now our inventory is showing. I hope this tutorial helped you figure out how to install the SRT, the live split, and get your FPS set up properly. And if there are any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as quick, quickly as possible. Thank you and have a great day.